I have a special guest today. It's Aideen Quinn from Detroit. So Aideen, what brings you out to California? Um, I'm just going on a vacation, go sightseeing. Uh, that's about it. Do some camping. Cool. Well, I'm glad you could come by for a visit. So you told me beforehand that you'd like to learn a little bit more about metalworking while you're here. Oh, absolutely. Well, I've got a particular idea in mind. So this is a special kind of hammer form. It's one with a detail in the bottom, and we're going to have you shape a piece of metal to fit. What do you think? Sounds great to me. All right, let's go for it. So we're just about ready to start the process. Again, we're working the flat metal down into this cavity in the hammer form itself. So this is the metal we'll be using. It's 50 thousandths aluminum. It's a soft grade. It's 3003H14. And an important part of any hammer form is a clamping block. So this is a piece of 3 quarter inch MDF that surrounds the part that we'll be working. So let's get this clamped into place. I'll be using drywall screws to hold the parts together. Hey Dean, would you put a clamp on that end, please? So this is a handheld planishing hammer. This is a high-end one made by the Eckold Company. And Aideen, what I want you to do is to start near the center of this, on this portion, and just slowly start working that metal down into the cavity. Once you've done this part, then we'll talk about how you might modify your technique for this part. Are you good to go? Yes. It's all yours. Is there anywhere in particular you want me to start? Just... Right there. All right. <laughs> I first met Aideen a few years ago at the Detroit Autorama. She was a student at Washtenaw Community College at the time and was displaying a great handcrafted sofa she made. Aideen recognized me from my videos, so she introduced herself, then invited me to relax on her sofa. I was very impressed with her first project and we promised to keep in touch. I saw her at Autorama again the next year, displaying a wonderful aircraft themed headboard she had just completed. She showed me the intimate details of this ambitious project, and I saw how much her skills had grown over the last year. A couple of months ago, Aideen told me she would be coming to California, and we arranged a meeting at my shop. Besides just saying hello, she hoped she might learn some new metalworking techniques. I think you did it. That's beautiful. How do you feel about the progress you've made? Uh, I think pretty good. Looks excellent from here. <laughs> Any questions before you start the other side? Um, I don't believe so. Go for it. Okay. That looks great. You did a fabulous job. I think the only thing left to do is to tune up the corners. I'm going to have you use a different set of tools for that. So this is what's called a caulking tool. It has a nice small contact patch. And all you need to do is to hold that tool in the corners and just tap it a few times like this. Give it some sort of sweeping motion from top to bottom. and you'll be able to see when you pull this contoured area right up into that point. Okay, Dean, I think you're done. Let's pull it apart and see what we got. And it's time for the big reveal. Oh yeah, there's still the plastic film on the metal. Do you want to help me peel that off? Oh, it's going to be gorgeous, I can tell. What do you think? I love it. I think you did a superb job. Well, thank you. Yeah. So I'll trim the edge off this so it'll fit more easily in your suitcase. <laughs> and I hope this is something you can be proud of. Well, thank you so much for your time. Sure, my pleasure. If you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when I post a new project. If you like, you can support these videos through Patreon. 
just click the link at the end of the video. I'll see you next time.